This is Tank's Vlog for October 1st, 2018, wrapping up today in sports. We're brought to you by Allow Me To Be Frank, the weekly podcast. We should be recording a new episode on Monday. A new episode will come out Tuesday. Ah, what a time of the year it is. What a time of the year. Baseball playoffs about to begin, but before they begin, we have not one, but two! One game playoffs. Now, the, the uh, what's at stake in these playoffs is not as big as it used to be because the losers simply play in the wild card game. And the winners are division champions and advance directly to do division series. And all four teams involved in this race. Did what they had to do, and they won on Sunday with the Cubs beating the uh, Cardinals ten to five. The Brewers blanked the Tigers eleven to nothing. The Rockies. Rocked the Nationals 12 to nothing, And the Dodgers bashed the Giants 15 to nothing. Some teams look like they just went to decide today go take a stamp, put it on the envelope, and mail the last game of the season in. Oh brother. I mean pride, where where is the pride? So there you have it. It's and uh, Christian Yelich still has a chance to win the triple crown. He's got the batting title pretty much in his back pocket. Now he's one short. He's one behind Nolan Arenado for the home run lead, and two behind Javier Baez for the RBI lead. Which interesting is the Brewers play the Cubs. And the Rockies are playing the Dodgers, so everyone's in action. And uh, it's just going to be one hell of a Monday to decide the division championships in the Central and the West. Uh, the Cubs, the game will be in Wrigley Field. And the Rockies will be playing their game at Dodger Stadium. Uh, Brewers have not named a starter yet, while the Cubs will be starting Jose Quintana. The Rockies will be sending German Marquez to the mound against Bueller, Bueller, Walker Bueller, and the uh, Dodgers certainly hope it, Walker Bueller does not have an off day. It's just what a crazy way to end the season, and then they'll both have to play right away. They'll have to play in the tiebreaker right after that. Incredible! They'll have to play each other. The losers will have to play. In the wild card game. Does it get any better than that? And then they'll have to play on Tuesday. It's a, there is no day off. There are no days off now. <sighs> Mets season ended. Good start by Noah Syndergaard. Uh, went the distance. As the Mets beat the Marlins 1-0. This game actually only went 9 innings. And... Uh, Basically, the last 22 innings of baseball at City Field, we saw two offensively inept, incompetent teams play each other, with the Mets outscoring the Marlins 2 to nothing. Uh, Red Sox, on the last day of the season, beat the Yankees 10-2 to to finish with a 108-54 and record, as the Yankees settled for second place at 162. The Astros are also a 100-game winning team, but they lost today to the Orioles, who, with the win, avoided the dreaded loss number 116. Wow. Phillies beat the Braves on the last day of the season. Braves are in the playoffs and awaiting the Western Division champion.
And they'll actually be playing that game on the road. Because the Braves are the three seed. And the Western Division team will be the two. Angels beat the A's 5-4. As Mike Shosha capped off his uh, nearly 20-year reign as manager of the Angels. It was the Twins' 5-4 winners over the White Sox. As it looks like Joe Maurer played his final game. And uh, with that win, the Chicago White Sox joined the 100-loss Club of Shame. Mariners beat the uh, Rangers 3-1. to one. Adrian Beltre got a standing ovation in possibly his last game. It was the Pirates' 6-5 winners over the Reds. The Padres beat the Diamondbacks 4-3. to three. The Rays beat the Blue Jays 9-4 and end the season with 90 wins. Indians in the playoffs at 91-71 beat the Royals 2-1. It's a 104-loss season for the Royals. Just three years from winning a move from winning the World Series. <sighs> now it's time to talk football. Just when you thought it was safe. To go back on the football field. Dan 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 Just when you thought it was safe to enjoy football again. Dan 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 Just when you thought it was safe to have your Sundays not totally ruined every friggin' week. The Beast is back. Dan 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 Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew this was going to happen. Oh, God, it's a nightmare that never ends. And the Dolphins were the ones that woke up the giant. And, of course, the Dolphins are who we thought they were. They sucked today. They sucked in every single aspect of the game. Forget the 3-0 start. Gone completely. You know, they played nobody. They played, they played a, well, somehow the Titans have won three straight after that, but the Jets suck, Raiders suck, and now here we are. In a few weeks, the Dolphins will be 3-3. Three and three. It's going to be another 8-8, eight 9-7, eight, and 7-9 seven, seven and nine type season, as the Patriots probably won't lose another game until December. Just a total nightmare. Total nightmare. Dominated in every single fashion of the game. 38-7. Oh, God. You know, I didn't expect the Dolphins to win the damn game in Foxborough. But come on! At least look competitive. Is that too much to ask? Is it too much to ask to play a competitive game up there against them? Ugh. <sighs> This has been my living hell for 20 years. It's been too much. Come on, look at it end. Can it end one of these days? <sighs> Dan Marino's career only lasted 16 years. 16 years. And, and by the, the, the 16th year, he was a broken down piece of meat. I mean, what did they do? Did the uh, Patriots drink the blood of virgins? I mean, is is this how they keep going? What deal with the devil has Tom Brady made to still be like this at the age of 41? It was fun while it lasted. Do 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 do
Matt Ryan will fail. And then you put the aim in the hand of the defense. The Falcons can't stop anyone at all. When the game's on the line, you know they're gonna fall. Do 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 do. Like a Super Bowl, they blew it again. It's just a real thing. Always oh, choking Falcons. I mean, has a team, has there ever been a team that has choked more on defense and offense than the Falcons? If there are, if, if Matt Ryan's on the ten yard line, on the five yard line, with four plays to win the game, he will miss. The end zone has a giant force field, which Julio Jones can't find. He need uh, you, you can't Julio Jones couldn't find the GPS if it was in his bathroom closet. And and their defense always, always will give up the game winning score. Never fails. Always choking Falcons. Well, John Gruden has revived a storied NFL franchise. One that has been dormant for many a year. One that hasn't had any success in a long time. The only problem is, it was the Chicago Bears he's revived. With the trade of Cleo Mack. Whenever the Bears play the Raiders, if the game's at Soldier Field... Everyone in Chicago should give John Gruden a standing ovation. And hold up signs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Trading is Cleo Max, the nicest thing you could have done for me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's the nicest thing you've ever done for the Bears. Bears, 48, 10 winners over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as the Ryan Fitzpatrick. Magic show has come to an end. Yes, that's right. It's midnight has struck, and Ryan Fitzpatrick has turned back into Ryan Fitzpatrick. And Khalil Mack, another monster game, another sack, another fumble. This is LT style domination. And the Chicago Bears are for real. And Mitchell Trubisky actually looked like a good quarterback today. 354 yards passing. Six touchdown passes. Incredible. Incredible. Another team that always seems to choke in the big spot is your Detroit Lions. Who, after beating the Patriots on Sunday night last week, blew it big time. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott rushed for 152 yards, but it was a Dak Prescott escape in the fourth quarter that kept the uh, Cowboys alive as they won the game on a field goal at the end of the day. Buffalo Bills have come back to earth as they were shut as they were shut out, 22 to nothing. By the Green Bay Packers at Lambeau Field. Packers were wearing throwback uniforms to the 1920s. <clears throat> Tennessee Titans, who lost the opener to the Dolphins, are now 3-1. and one As they stunned the Philadelphia Eagles in overtime, 26-23. With the score down 3-0, they could have gotten, they could have kicked the field goal, but instead went for it. And on their final drive, they were given several first downs on penalties. Eagles really shooting themselves in the foot. And then Marcus Mariota, game-winning touchdown, perfect pass. As the Titans beat the Eagles 26-23. The Colts, apparently trying the same move, had it blow up in their face. <laughs> Only difference was, they were on the other side of the field. The game was already tied, and if they would have punted, they would have had a tie. But Frank Reich doesn't wear ties, so went for it. And despite a great game by Andrew Luck, looking like he's actually back for once, the 
Colts, who staged an incredible fourth quarter comeback, end up losing to the Texans 37-34. Jaguars were all over the Jets 31-12. In a crazy game, the Browns went to overtime against the Raiders and uh, basically got screwed by the refs. A obvious fumble was whistled and called an incomplete pass. Then they had a first down taken away from them by a review as they decided uh, to move the ball back and give, and then which gave the Raiders another chance. They went down the field, tied the game, and then won the game in overtime, forty-five, forty-two. Cardinals. Lost to the uh, Seahawks 20 to nothing as Earl Thomas said his farewell to Seattle. Dan, 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 dan. Thanks for the memories. Oh boy, you know, this is going to give all fuel to all these players that hold out now. It's Le'Veon Bell. He ain't coming back to Pittsburgh. He, after Earl Thomas, who held out all training camp, is refusing to practice, breaks his leg. Now, this is going to give fuel. You see? If we if we come out there, we're gonna get hurt. So we're not even gonna play. You can have a lot more holdouts now, thanks to what happened to Earl Thomas today. And what a what a way to send off. I mean, to to give it, to flash your sideline, your teammates, your brothers, the middle finger. It is clear the Seattle Seahawks are. Yeah, they might be two and two, but this team is about to is about to ha implode. This team is about to implode. Ladies and gentlemen. Alvin has left the building. And before he left the building, he ran all over the New York Giants. 134 yards, three touchdowns, and the last one, he went up the tunnel into the locker room and got a start on his shower as it would put the dagger, the final nail in the coffin of the Giants. Another dreadful performance on defense today as they were torn apart by the Saints, 33-18. Giants have got some major league problems. Philip Rivers struggled early, threw a couple of interceptions, and uh, put his team in an early 14 nothing hole, but he was able to dig out as the Chargers, with most of the fans in L.A. cheering for the 49ers, beat the 49ers 29-27. Move back to San Diego. Los Angeles doesn't want you. It is clear as day. You have you you play sixteen row games now. You got to get out of there. The city of Los Angeles hates the Chargers, and you're trying to. Your fans are in San Diego. They want you back. They want you back. They want the owners to sell the team. But it's embarrassing how badly the Chargers. This this move has been a disaster. One of the dumbest moves in the history of sports. And there have been some dumb moves. But this one takes the cake. They will never be accepted by Los Angeles. Los Angeles, their favorite team is the Rams. They love the Rams. The Rams are good. The Rams might go to the Super Bowl this year. So that's going to make it even more impossible. This is even worse than the Clippers when they first got to L.A. playing against the Showtime Lakers. This, you will never, ever ever be accepted by Los Angeles, go home. Go to San Diego. Stop it. Stop being stupid. We want the San Diego Superchargers back. Go home. So what? San Diego won't build your stadium. Build your own dance stadium. You got some friggin' money. Build it yourself, you jackasses. And in the Sunday night game, the Steelers became the Pittsburgh Aluminum Cans as they were crumpled up by the Ravens, 
There are some definite problems up in Pittsburgh right now. <sighs> we got three stars. It's Alvin Kamara of the Saints. Noah Syndergaard in the Mets. And Andrew Luck with 464 yards and four touchdowns in a losing effort for the Colts. Today's birthday shout-out goes to... The man who 20 years ago had... The, the won the home run race with Sammy Sosa, Mark McGuire, who turns 55. And we take a look back to 1903 and the first World Series. So go to Barstool Sports to learn all about the first World Series, about this crazy group of fans called the Royal Rooters, who really invented Red Sox Nation, even though they weren't the Red Sox then, they were the Boston Americans, but that's semantics. No one had official names back then. So check out the story at Barstool Sports, the sports second video where sports history lives. And, God, I hate the, I hate allergy season. I don't know if it's allergies or a cold. But either way, I'm stuffed up, and it sucks. Good day.